Hello everybody and welcome to another week of The Big Build. My name is Lydia and I will be your foreman today. So far, you have totally been rocking the construction scene. Best of all, you've been learning all about how God built the early church while you do it. We're not quite finished yet though. I have six strips of paper and with this stapler, I'm going to build a set of chains. This paper chain is going to come in handy later on in the story. So let's see what the story is all about today. In the beginning of the church, God used disciples like Peter and John to tell people about Jesus. Unfortunately, at that time, people could get into big trouble for talking about Jesus. I don't just mean a time out in the corner. I'm talking about jail and maybe even death. Do you think that stopped Peter and John though? I'll tell you, it did not. One day, when Peter and John were going to the Jewish temple to pray, they passed by a beggar who was crippled. That means his legs didn't work. The beggar wanted money, but Peter had something way better for him. And Peter said, in the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk. But Peter was standing right outside of the Jewish temple. Why is this a problem? Well, the Jewish leaders would not be okay with Peter talking about Jesus. They didn't believe that Jesus was the Savior. But that didn't stop Peter. As soon as Peter said the words, In the name of Jesus Christ, get up and walk, the beggar jumped to his feet and began to walk. He couldn't believe it. He was shocked and began jumping and praising God. Can you guys jump around and praise God too? A huge crowd of people saw what had happened and began to gather around. They were amazed at what they saw. So what do you think Peter and John did next? Do you think they just sat quietly, snuck away so they wouldn't get in trouble? No way. Instead, Peter and John told all the people how the power of Jesus had healed this man and how the power of Jesus could heal all of their sins. Remember these paper chains from earlier? When the Jewish leaders heard about what Peter and John were saying, they weren't too happy. In fact, they had the temple guards arrest Peter and John and throw them in jail. Bummer, dude! Do you think the chains were going to stop Peter and John from talking about Jesus? No way! The next day, Peter and John were brought before the temple priests. One priest asked them, by what power or what name did you heal this man? The Bible says that Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit as he answered the question. Listen to what he said. Open your Bible to Acts chapter 4, verse 10. It says, Then listen to this, you and all the people of Israel. You nailed Jesus Christ of Nazareth to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. It is through Jesus' name that this man stands healed in front of you. The priests warned Peter and John to never speak the name of Jesus again. Do you think Peter and John agreed to that? No way. But the priests were afraid of how the crowd might react if they punished Peter and John. So they let them go anyway. When Peter and John left, they continued telling everyone about Jesus. Nothing could stop them from sharing the good news, not even the threat of prison. Can you believe how bold John and Peter were? All they needed to do to get out of jail was to stop talking about Jesus, but they wouldn't do it. It's because of their bravery and the bravery of so many other Christians that the good news of Jesus spread around the world. But where do you think they got their bravery from? 
In the Bible, it says that Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us in a lot of ways. He guides us, comforts us, helps us to pray. But more than that, the Holy Spirit gives us the power to share the good news of Jesus with the world. In fact, that's what our Bible verse for today says. Let's take a look together. Open your Bibles to Acts chapter 1, verse 8. It says, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses from one end of the earth to the other. Not only does God ask us to tell others about Jesus, he gives us his Holy Spirit to help. Let me ask you though, does it sometimes make you a little nervous to tell someone about Jesus? I'll be honest, it does for me. Why do you think that is? Sometimes fear can feel like chains that are keeping us from telling others about Jesus. But God didn't give us a spirit of fear. Just like he did for Peter and John, God gives us the spirit of power to break the chains of fear and tell others about Jesus. Our mission is to tell others about Jesus so they can have a friendship with him and have the free gift of eternal life with God. We can't let fear keep us chained up. Ask the Holy Spirit for courage so you can boldly tell others about Jesus. Let's pray together right now. God, I pray that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit and give us the courage to tell our friends about you. Would you break the chains of fear so that we can share your good news with the world? In your name we pray, amen. All right, kids, well, that's it for today. We can't wait to see you again next week. Crew, let's wrap it up.